Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do December readings for all zodiac signs. Now, like I always say, these are general readings. You know, if they resonate with you, that's great. And if they don't, maybe next time. And thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the box below. I do readings either over the phone or in a private video sent to you by email. I do readings either in half hour or hour increments. Nothing in between, please. Uh, also, I have gift certificates available. Take this off the screen. Uh, for anyone that would like to gift a friend a reading for the holidays or gift them uh, tarot card classes. There are five videos plus a bonus video and they're $20 a piece. I coach throughout the whole thing. Um, so if you're interested or want to gift it. Uh, also, my mystery healing boxes that bring out the highest properties and qualities of your crystals and stones. I personalize those. So if there's a particular color or a theme uh, that you would like, I'll do it. Also, uh, life path readings as well. Um, they are great for removing blockages and doing healing processes. So give me a shout if you are interested. Okay. This reading is going to be for Aquarius. Let's see what's shake with you in December 2019. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I believe that. Aquarius, are you trying to keep people out of your biz? Maybe you don't trust them. Hmm. Let's find out. Bottom of the deck. Aquarius, you have the two of wands. And this is taking a brand new course of action and looking forward to the positive possibilities of it. He's got the world in his hand there. World could be your oyster. But by taking a new course of action, opposed to the sword, that, uh, the sword, the one that's behind them, you know, these new actions bring in new possibilities, places, things. I kind of feel here, Aquarius, it's like leaving something behind, you know, and going for better, striving for better. Might have some tricky energy around you. So Aquarius, let's get it. We're going to start off with the Knight of Rods. Now, this comes from uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but more so a messenger, a messenger to move on something, to act on something, to get the ball rolling. And what's crossing to help or hinder, Aquarius, you get the King of Rods now. Again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Fire, fire here. About putting something in motion. Acting on something. Moving on something. Now this could be your energy, Aquarius, that, you know, maybe you feel the time is right now to take a new course of action here with the Two of Wands and put something in motion. But I'm kind of feeling it might be pressure from somebody else. That wants you to move on something. Makes you, you know, wants you to act on something. Act without thinking. Hmm. I just heard sign on the dotted line. And this might have you a little wary, or at least you should be wary about this Aquarius. If somebody's trying to push you to do something, and you don't have all the facts and figures about it. Because Aquarius, that's what you're all about. Facts, figures, numbers. In the foundation of this reading, you get the Seven of Swords, the Thief card. Now, there's many ways to depict a thief. I just heard con artist. Yes, they steal your material things. They can steal your work and put their name on it. This is a person that, you know, can ghost you like that for no rhyme or reason. 
This is somebody who spreads your biz around. And I, I really, I hate the look on his face. So smug, like he got away with something. This could be a frenemy. Someone, you know, smiles right to your face, Aquarius, and puts that knife or sword right in your back. And this is the root, you know, the foundation of this reading here, Aquarius, that something's crooked. Something's not right. You know, this could be somebody trying to do something covert. You know, it's like they tell a half true. They don't give you the whole thing. And I'm kind of feeling like this is, you know, the same energy as somebody, you know, just telling you to move on something new. You gotta do it, you gotta do it now. Time's wasting. And there's an underlying, you know, factor here. Aquarius. But I think you're on to that. I think you you know that something might not be kosher or on the level here. Because what's crowning your reading is the Knight of Swords, the fastest one out of all of them. And he comes in swift with his truth, with his clarity. The words might be uh, a little harsh or brutal, but it's the truth. And Aquarius, this could be, you know, you demanding. Where's the facts? Where's the figures? Where's the numbers on this? Because you're on to them. And Aquarius, I'm kind of thinking your gut is telling you. You know what I mean? That you have to look at the fine print. Or you have to look at the, you know, or maybe even in between the lines. About something. If somebody wants to, you know, is pushing you right along to do something, you know, and they're adamant about it. I'm feeling like it doesn't benefit you. It's all about them. Now, in your recent past, you have the Queen of Wands. Now, Aquarius, you get two that reign the realm together here. Passionate, creative, motivated, go get it done. And in the recent past, maybe you've dealt with a fire-like person, you know, that seems to want to encourage you to move in a certain direction, maybe, or to do something. The counterpart to the King of Rods here. You know, this could be a couple. I keep hearing it in my head. They're like shysters, like... um. A con artist. I'm gonna sell you the Brooklyn Bridge. And they make everything seem so, you know, appealing. But something's wrong here. You know, they get two people on the same side trying to push you, Aquarius, into something that maybe you're not ready to move on. Because going into your future, Aquarius, you have the High Priestess, the Keeper of Secrets. This is inner knowing, trusting your intuition, letting it guide you. Did she tell everyone her secrets? No. But never underestimate the High Priestess. She knows a lot more than what she says. And Aquarius, I do believe that this is your energy. And maybe you're listening, maybe you're listening. And maybe in your head, you're like, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's wrong. That's not right. You could very well be, you know, coming in saying, well, wait a minute. I know this to be true. I know that to be true. And then they, they just sputter off something else. But you know, Aquarius, you know that something here is just not right. Because how they're looking at you in this situation, they're looking at you as the Ten of Cups. Ride that unicorn. Emotionally fulfilled at its finest. Happy spouse, happy house, happy life. And if they're looking at you like this, they're looking at you like you're abundant, Aquarius. You very well could be. That you're extremely happy. This looks like sabotage. These could be rumors. Somebody spreading gossip, you know, stirring the pot, so to speak. And 
And this could be in a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those ships, Aquarius. That they see that you are very emotionally content, very happy. This could be jealousy. Now, in your environment, you have the Virgo card of the Hermit, the seeker of knowledge. He doesn't rely on everybody else to find out what he needs to find out. He relies on himself. That way, the info that he gets, he knows it's true or not. Sometimes it means isolation and seclusion, Aquarius, but he likes to be alone. He doesn't need the outside, you know, influences to make his decisions. This could be internalizing. But again, it's a card of intuition as well as the High Priestess. You could be gathering info. You could be seeing, you know, if what these people say is credible or not. Now remember, this could be in a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of these ships. This could be, you know, friends or family or such. And I do believe there is a an element of jealousy here. The old saying, misery enjoys company. And when they're looking at you like this Aquarius, like, you know, like you get everything going on. Yes, there are people out there that just want to destroy it. Now, in your hopes and in your fears, Aquarius, you have the Three of Cups. This is a reuniting card, rejoicing, celebrating. You know, this could be going to a concert or, you know, family gathering or just a bunch of friends getting together. You know, Christmas party. And this could be a hope. Maybe you're hoping, Aquarius, to run into one or this duo. Maybe you have done your homework. And you know what's true, what's not. And you're ready to communicate it. Loud and proud. Maybe it is a some sort of a gathering of friends or family. But you know something, Aquarius. And whatever smoke, you know, these people are blowing. Don't ever feel like you're forced... Or, you know, you have to go with the flow with it to make other people happy. This is not about other people's happiness, Aquarius. This is about yours. Don't be taken advantage of. Don't believe everything you hear, I just heard. Do your homework. Do your background, background checks if you have to. If you're in that situation in a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of these ships. Because Aquarius, something only goes as far as you let it go. And I don't think you're going to let this one ride or go too far because your outcome card is a five of swords. Now, here's conflict. And I consider this one, you know, the biggest conflict card out of all. He's got the two swords he won. He's going to pick up those two swords on the ground. But that fifth sword he's putting in the ground, meaning no more. He's drawing the line. It goes no further than this. Throw in the gauntlet. And yes, it can be, you know, hurtful words or, you know, it could be the one-upping. But Aquarius, whatever that is. But Aquarius, I see that you are not going to let gossip, rumors, or even, you know, being pushed into doing something you don't want to do. Too far. You're going to stay on your ground. And I think you're going to put this either to bed or you're going to keep it at bay. Because something is finalized and it stops there, Aquarius, when you draw that line. Now, whether somebody's just, you know, stretching the truth or aggravating you, or pushing you in some way, a direction where you really feel like you don't want to go, you're going to put that line down. And you're going to let them know exactly where you stand. 
So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.